Hi, my name is Stephanie and I work with our employee relations team here at Deluxe. I wanted to take a minute to share some best practices with you in regards to completing our background check and drug screening. We of course want to make this process as easy and quick as possible for all. First, you're going to receive an email from our third party vendor. Once you open the email, it is recommended to have the following documents to expedite this process. You're going to be asked questions around your background with employment and education. For your employment, you'll need the month and years that you were employed, the employer name, and the contact information. For education, they do ask that you enter in the highest level completed. If you have taken some college courses but didn't complete that degree, you would enter in your high school diploma or the equivalents as your highest level completed. Once you've completed the background portion, you are going to be asked to schedule your drug screening. The drug screening does need to be completed within 48 hours. When you're setting this up, it is a four-step process where you will select the location that you will attend. Please remember that this does need to be completed in 48 hours and that can be contingent on your start date. If for any circumstances do come up that you are unable to complete this, please contact your recruiter immediately. Now we're going to go ahead and take a minute and walk you through what this would look like from your point of view. Once you receive your email from Accurate Background and open it up, you are going to be asked to create a username and password. So once you've created your username and password, if you would like to receive text message notifications to ask you to log in to make updates, this is where you would select that option. As you can see, once you are getting started, you do have nine steps before the drug screening. Be sure to read through all of the information before you sign and complete the forms. The first portion of this is going to be you entering in your personal information. Please be as thorough as possible. After you've entered in your personal information, it's going to ask you for your address history. If you have lived at more than one address in the last 10 years, please be sure to enter that. So through the identification process, this is going to ask you for your social security number. Once you get to the employment section, be reminded that Deluxe does search back the last seven years. The best way to prepare moving into the employment section is going to be to have the dates of employment, the employer name, and the contact for the business who can verify you did indeed work there. If you do ask that we don't contact your current employer and you do select no, please be prepared to have a document ready to send over to Accurate and or Deluxe. This could include a tax form such as a W-2 or 1099, a current pay stub, or an offer letter. When entering the dates of employment, try and be as specific as you can with the month and the year from start date to end date. Do the best that you can to complete all fields when filling out this portion of the background screening. The employer contact is also important when Accurate is trying to contact any employers to verify employment. Do the best that you can to provide a first and last name as well as an email and phone number. A reminder with education, this is going to be the highest level completed. If the highest level completed is a high school diploma or equivalent, please enter that. If you have received any type of degree such as an associate's, bachelor's, or master's, that would be your highest level completed. Once you've made it to the end, it will ask you to review. Please take a moment to fully review all the information, and if at any point you need to edit, you can do so. After you've completed and saved this document, and maybe you realize that you needed to make a change to your information, you can log into your Accurate account using your username and password at any time to make those additional changes. Please take a moment to fully read through the disclosure regarding the background check. Once you read through the disclosure regarding the background check, you will print your name and then use your mouse to sign your name on the line. Once you agree, you will agree and continue to proceed into the next steps. Once you review all the information you've entered for employment and education and proceed into step eight of disclosure and authorizations, there's gonna be a total of four documents. Please thoroughly read through them, acknowledge them, and sign the document. 
Once you've completed through all the documents and agree to move forward, this gives us the consent to complete the background check and drug screening. Note that you can download a PDF copy of all the documents that you have signed. Step nine is the true and complete. Again, certify that all the information you have provided is to the best of your knowledge, and once you agree to continue, you will move into the next step of setting up your background check and drug screening. Note that it does appear that it looks like you could be completed, and if you do not schedule your drug screen at this time, you are not going to be able to schedule it through this site by logging in at a later date. Please take a moment to schedule your drug screening immediately. Note that your information is going to pull through. The only additional information that you need to enter is your birth date and your social security number. You can choose to use the location that you've entered for your home to assign you a clinic, or if there is a clinic that may be closer to a place of work or education, you can enter in that zip code and it will find the nearest location to you. Please select the location that is going to best meet your needs. Although you're going to be receiving an e-passport that you need to provide to the clinic when testing for your drug screening, you can also choose to have additional e-passports delivered through a text message or an additional email. This does need to be brought in with you at the time that you go into a clinic. You will receive an email stating that you've successfully completed your background. If you do have additional questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to your recruiter or employee relations immediately. Congratulations on your offer and I look forward to working with you soon.